So the first thing I hear like some group of girls just shouting the Patino go sit you guess today. <laughs> I was confused whether it was protest we were going for, we were coming for, or like whether these people were here for protest or they were actually here for party. Like, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Conversation with Shagun. But today I'm not like I'm not really doing like a form of conversation, more like a story time. Uh, actually shooting two videos one will be coming out today then the other one will be coming out on Thursday so today is more like a story time I'll be telling you my experience protesting for the first time so now uh, when this whole NSAS movie started I was in Anambra I think I was in Anambra and I was going for my personal uh, which they do vlog for that which is coming maybe like later shall i'll be posting that so i was in anambra and when this all ends as we all started from twitter and we're like retweeting and tweeting retweeting and tweeting stuff so i didn't know like it was going to be like this serious so i was i was kind of happy shall like when it when you when the whole thing went to uh, when the whole thing started from uh, files around town saying they should take it to the street and now everybody like started coming out and stuff like that so i was actually very happy like i was so gingered to actually go for i was very happy like i wanted to go for pretty like for the first time because i used to watch like a lot of movies and <laughs> i need this silly ball anytime they like they are doing protests the movies are usually about the protests are usually about black lives matter and stuff like that so i kind of i've always kind of wished that i was actually there like protest like kind of have the old kind of vibe and experience and stuff like that but but i forgot like i was in nigeria so the experience was totally different but still when the old protest started like i wanted to be worried to actually protest because in anambra nobody like where i was nobody was actually protesting people were not even like that serious they were never like tweeting or retweeting because the place was like a village so nobody really knew what was happening all they were just hearing was maybe on a radio show or maybe when somebody tell them that oh this thing happened and stuff like that so some of them most of them in that area they didn't know what was happening so there was no form of protest so when i came back uh, i came back on saturday so i came back on saturday and the protest was still on so i was like very happy i was triggered to actually like go for the uh, to go for protest so the sunday came and the oldest thing protest started and the first thing i did was they blocked the main entrances like the major junctions and where they blocked so when i got to the protest ground <laughs> so the first thing i heard like some group of girls just shouting the Patino go sit, you guess no day. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was confused whether it was protest we were going for, we were coming for, or like whether these people were here for protest or they were actually here for party. Like, you were saying the Patino go sit, you guess no day. Then there were people were just blowing music, people were like smoking and drinking and just shouting. So the first thing that came to me was like, oh, I'm in Nigeria, I'm in America. It's in America, you see people actually, like me, or maybe because of the kind of movies I've been watching and my idea or the kind of thing I actually expect a protest to be like. So I, when I saw that, I was just, I was like, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. So like, I saw a lot of people coming out and almost what everybody was just doing like drinking and shouting and they blocked the major roads so i was not wondering like whether this was actually a protest but there were people that were still saying they were still chanting answers 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 stuff like that so what so i just took out my phone and started videoing but i was really stressed like i was not i was like anxious 
be like around kind of those kind of people and i don't generally like go out like i basically don't go out like that but still i wanted to be like part of the protest because i was actually i feel like people are actually doing something like they want nigeria to move forward so i left that place that i was then i went to like a major place and where where the old protest was where there was kind of people who were protesting and when i got there whoa i saw <laughs> i saw people like killing rounds doing playing football doing so many things and i was like so this was this was not what i actually pictured was going to be like the kind of protest that i was going to go for so later on, I went, I left the place, uh, when I got to the new place where my brothers were, so we were there, those people were like still, they were still doing the full protest stuff, they were like uh, chanting, somebody was like raising flag and waving and stuff, I'll show you guys some of the video, like clips, and somebody came and started addressing people and stuff. So, but the thing in what the protest in where it was like, it was very peaceful, like, Nobody was I uh, trying to destroy something or lose something and things like that. So it was very it was a very pretty, peaceful protest. The only thing was I thought it was more like of a carnival than a protest. I won't lie to you. So well, that was my opinion. But later on, I guess I one okay, one thing I I forgot to say was that I came late to the protest. Like the protest started around six, I think. So I came like around ten. Well, the protest was like for the old Asia. So I, I was there for like two to three to four hours. I think three hours basically. Because we were there, we were shouting, and sad, and sad, and sad. We want sad to end and stuff like that. Then we went to eat because, bro, we've not eaten anything. We went to get something to eat. Bro, well, the protest experience was actually very nice. Like, I actually did enjoy it. The, the thing was, I had an idea or I had a picture that was already painted in my head of what a protest should look like because of the movies I've been watching or because of things I see on social media. And me, I was thinking like we are going to do some George Floyd kind of movement, like people will be out chanting, police will be there, we will throw it here, guys will be running, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I think I watched too much movies. So me, I was already I was already thinking that was the oldest thing I was going to have the old experience. But when I got there, all I saw was people drinking, people dancing. There was a guy that was just there were a lot of people that were, did dress up and were just enjoying themselves basically on the street. I went to the Nana, the bro Ram and the, and the Kill Ram and they were like cooking on the street. So it was kind of nice to actually experience this kind of movement. Um, there were people there, there were videographers who were like making videos of all these things, and you, you see people brought out their placards, they brought out their banners to say answers and stuff like that. And I, I, I told you that they blocked the major road, so people were like they were not able to pass. That was one thing. So people were not able to pass. So even myself, when I was like trying to get to the place. I had to be dropping from one junction to another to pay people. I'll be, I'll take a cab from one junction, pay the guy. And those people were like, those people were thieves. God, something that normally you would take for like hundred naira, I, I paid like three hundred because from one junction to another, I take one transport, uh, one uh, another cab from another junction to another, like to like three major junctions. If I go to the new place because the first place I was, I was not like I was a bit um I was not really feeling the vibe like the area like I wasn't I didn't understand what these people were doing, I guess. So somebody even to that uh the word the protest happening where right now is not a protest like the carnival. Where I guess maybe because of what other people were doing in other areas, because some of them they actually know what this protest was for. That's what I feel. So I stood, I was there for three to four hours. Other people came and started talking to the youth. 
um, that was the one that was taking place in everyone. So people came and started talking to the uh, a guy came and started talking to the youth, started educating people, started talking, and people were shouting. They were like, you know now, people were just shouting. They were all gingered up and fired up, and it was kind of cool. Like I genuinely, I, like I was really happy that we we're experiencing something like this for the first time in Nigeria. Like it is more like a revolution and all sorts until my mom called and like okay you guys have done your part so you can come back home now i hear that they 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 are doing this they are doing that so we have to leave there and come back home so that was basically my experience uh of protesting for the first time and i actually took some nice pictures to that I posted so thank you and if you like this story time can you give me a thumbs up or if you don't like it you can also give me a thumbs down like it depends on how you are feeling and tell me in the comment section if you want more story times or like because i have like some juicy stories that i actually want to tell you guys so thank you very much don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share like share my videos to your friends you don't know who might actually like it so thank you and bye